Hydrogen sulfide is invisible, explosive, and flammable. Most importantly, it's deadly. In fact, this ferocious chemical, hydrogen sulfide, or H2S, is a leading cause of sudden workplace death. We'll teach you how to work safely around hydrogen sulfide. You'll learn its properties and characteristics, effects of exposure, air monitoring requirements, engineering controls, personal protective equipment, first aid and rescue procedures, and how to avoid exposure. Sour gas, rotten egg gas, stink damp, sulfurated hydrogen, hepatic gas, and sulfur hydride. It has a lot of names, but no matter what you call hydrogen sulfide, at high enough concentrations, it's always deadly. Let's look at some of its properties. First, can you see it? No, H2S is an invisible gas. Can you smell it? Well, maybe you think you'll recognize it by its rotten egg smell. After all, even below a safe level of one part per million, you can smell rotten eggs. But remember, most plants, mills, and treatment facilities have other chemical odors that can hide or mask this rotten egg smell at low concentrations. So never rely on your nose to recognize H2S. Second, hydrogen sulfide is heavier than air. That means it will collect in low-lying areas like cellars, pits, and vaults. Third, hydrogen sulfide is an extremely flammable gas. If there is the right amount of H2S, between 43,000 and 460,000 parts per million, and the temperature is right, H2S will explode violently. To eliminate H2S's explosive property, hydrogen sulfide is purposely burned in flare stacks. However, keep in mind that a dangerous and toxic gas, sulfur dioxide, or SO2, is emitted. Lastly, hydrogen sulfide is corrosive. A byproduct formed from this corrosion is called iron sulfide scale and can often be found in vessels and pipes containing H2S. This material can spontaneously ignite when exposed to air. Inhaling hydrogen sulfide is the most dangerous route of exposure. Depending on the concentration and length of exposure, hydrogen sulfide will affect you in different ways. For example, concentrations above 100 parts per million will normally cause you to lose your sense of smell within a matter of minutes. On the other hand, after being exposed to concentrations of only 50 parts per million over an hour, you may also lose your sense of smell. Up to 100 parts per million, you'll smell rotten eggs, your eyes will burn, and your respiratory tract will be irritated. Eventually, you'll lose your sense of smell, experience headache, dizziness, and coughing. Any concentration over 600 parts per million will kill you almost immediately. OSHA requires your employer to closely monitor the air in your workspace, and there are a variety of ways to do so. First, fixed monitors are located where the possibility of widespread contamination exists. Portable monitors are also available. These either assess the presence or absence of H2S. Some even give you a digital readout of the amount of H2S. Portable monitors are either handheld or attached to you. Regardless of the type you use, never rely solely on your monitor. If you suspect H2S is present, don't wait for an alarm. Move out of the area immediately, upwind. OSHA requires your employer to eliminate or reduce hazards in the workplace through engineering controls. One of the most widely used is ventilation, either natural or mechanical. Natural ventilation is provided by normal airflow. When relying on natural ventilation, note the direction wind socks, streamers, and flags are blowing, so you'll know the safest way to escape in case of an emergency. In addition, living areas should be located upwind of potential gas leak areas. When natural ventilation is insufficient or ineffective, explosion-proof and spark-proof mechanical devices such as fans and blowers can be used, especially in confined spaces. 
Don't relax when working with hydrogen sulfide just because you see ventilation in place. Remember that engineering controls are just that, controls. They are not guarantees. Your company will institute a respiratory protection program to protect you from harmful levels of H2S. This program must include thorough annual training as specified in the respiratory standards set by OSHA and ANSI, the American National Standards Institute. This program will include fit testing, proficiency drills, maintenance and medical surveillance. Fit testing will ensure that you are wearing your breathing apparatus safely with a leak-tight seal between the mask and your face. Do not wear beards or sideburns because they prohibit a leak-tight seal. Do not wear contact lenses because they cannot be worn inside a full face piece. If you normally wear eyeglasses, you should be fitted with a face piece spectacle kit. It will hold your prescription lenses inside the face piece. Simply speaking, there are three types of respiratory protection recommended for hydrogen sulfide environments. Escape packs, airline units, and self-contained breathing apparatus, or SCBA, rated for 15, 30, 45, or 60 minutes. Remember, your breathing apparatus should always be positive pressure type. Never use air purifying or cartridge type in hydrogen sulfide environments. Depending on the job task, you may be required to use your airline with an SCBA rated for more than 15 minutes instead of the emergency escape air cylinder. This way, you can move from one working area to another. This type of SCBA, which is rated for 15 minutes or longer, allows the air cylinder to be used for entry into a hazardous environment. The only limitation is that no more than 20% of the air supply can be used to enter. A warning device alerts you when approximately 5 minutes or more of air remains, allowing you to exit the hazardous environment. Knowing what to do can mean the difference between life and death. If exposure to hydrogen sulfide affects your eyes, flush them with clear running water for 15 minutes, forcing your eyelids open if necessary. Then seek medical attention. In the immediate area of a leak or a release, follow these steps. 1. Hold your breath, but do not inhale to do so. 2. Move upwind or crosswind and away from the leak area. 3. Protect yourself by putting on an appropriate breathing unit. 4. Proceed to a safe assembly area. Always follow your company's specific procedures for escape and rescue from hydrogen sulfide environments. But if you rescue a victim, always protect yourself first. Put on the proper breathing apparatus before attempting to rescue anyone. Don't become another victim. Proceed in pairs whenever possible. This is known as the buddy system. Lift or drag the victim to an upwind area. If the victim has fallen from an elevated platform, be aware they might have sustained a neck or spinal injury. Be sure the area is safe and gas-free before removing your mask. A portable H2S detector should be used to assess the area. If you are not trained in first aid, alert supervisory personnel and activate the emergency response system immediately. Always remember, the shorter the time between when a person is exposed and when the emergency response team arrives, the better off the victim will be. To help you avoid exposure to H2S, First, know the location of the emergency exits, as well as emergency phone numbers, and know the location of the safe assembly areas. Second, remain wind conscious. Be aware of wind socks, streamers, and flags at all times. And if indoors, make sure adequate fans and vents are being used. Third, know where an emergency self-contained breathing apparatus is and be skilled in its use. Fourth, know how to read the H2S detection, monitoring, and alarm devices that warn of dangerous H2S levels. Fifth, obey no smoking policies. 
because hydrogen sulfide is highly explosive and flammable. And finally, be familiar with posted safety rules, warning signs, and especially your company's specific procedures regarding hydrogen sulfide. Hopefully, the next time you hear an alarm, you'll be prepared. Whatever you do, don't wait to smell for rotten eggs. Hydrogen sulfide is about much more than rotten egg odor. It's deadly. Still, you can work safely around hydrogen sulfide if you understand and respect its potential dangers. Take hydrogen sulfide seriously. It's a matter of life or death.